Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest recording from Most Wired, CyberDread's African Experience. Karibu na Kuru County, eneo lenye utofauti wa kipekee. Ni mahala pa uwekezaji mwafaka usuweza kupingwa. Mahala pa nafasi sihaba. Ikiwa na idadi ya watu takriban milioni mbili, county hii ya Nakuru ni nne kwa ukubwa wa idadi wa watu nchini ikipakana na county za Narok, Baringo, Nyandarwa, Kiambu, Kericho, Bomet na Laikipia. Katika makala ya kuangazia utendakazi wa ugatuzi, tunaanzia kaunti ndogo ya Kuresoi Kusini. Eneo la Kuresoi limegawanywa kwa sehemu mbili, kaunti ndogo ya Kuresoi Kusini na kaunti ndogo ya Kuresoi Kaskazini. Kuresoi Kusini ina idadi ya watu takriban 180,000. Ikiwa kwenye usimamizi wa wadi nne za Tinet, Kiptagich, Keringet na Amalu. Inapakana na chemichemi ya maji ya Masai katika msitu wa Mau na ni eneo linalozalisha chakula kingi kinachotumika kwenye kaunti. Kwa muda mrefu eneo hili lilisalia nyuma kimaendeleo. Hii ndiyo ilikuwa hali ya kiuchumi ya wananchi wa eneo hili. Swala la ugatuzi pamoja na ushirikishaji wa umma katika maamuzi ya maendeleo kwenye serikali gatuzi Zimedhihirisha umuhimu wake kwa wakazi wa kaunti ya Nakuru katika miaka tatu sasa. Mwanzoni mwa ugatuzi chini ya uongozi wa gavana wa Nakuru Kinuthia Mbugwa, maisha ya wananchi wengi wa hitaji yamebadilika. Katika miaka mitatu tangu uanzilishi wa serikali gatuzi, gavana wa Nakuru Kinuthia Mbugwa amepata umaarufu nje na ndani ya kaunti hasa kufuatia tuzo ilizo dinyakulia kaunti kwa miradi yake ya maendeleo na pamoja na mipangilio ambayo imehimiza kuhusishwa kwa umma katika maamuzi the, the working relationship uh, between the, the two arms of government that is the, the executive and the uh, county assembly uh, has been uh, very very cordial the assembly is doing its uh, role uh, very Effectively, that is the role of uh, oversight, oversighting me and the uh, executive uh, in general, uh, uh, particularly through their various uh, committees like the implementation committee. Kwa mfano, kwa vile tuko na, na wards, hamsini na tano, nimeakisha kwamba ile pesa ambapo, ama zile resources ambazo tunapata kutokana na commission of revenue allocation, hiyo pesa tuna tunahakisha inafikia kila kila eneo la kaunti hii kwa, kwa usawa kila ward ina priority yake kuna wale ambao maji hapo beleni imekuwa shida sana na kwa hivyo wanachukua kwa mfano wanasema basi tunataka pesa mingi yetu ya hii kiasi iende kwa maji ward nyingine hilo si shida sana kwa hivyo hawajachukua maji as a priority wamechukua kitu kingine kwa mfano uh, kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mataa katika center zao za biashara Kaunti ndogo ya Kuresoi Kusini inapatikana katika msitu mpana wa Mau eneo hili likiwa na uwezo mkubwa wa kilimo limeshuhudia changamoto za barabara hospitali na elimu lakini chini ya uongozi mwema wa gavana Kimuthia Mbugwa serikali ya kaunti ya Nakuru imeangazia kwa kipekee ukarabati wa barabara za mashinani 
kwa minajili ya kusaidia ukuaji wa kilimo biashara mashinani. The Constitution of Kenya under the fourth schedule uh, has mandated both the national government and the county government uh, to maintain and rehabilitate transport networks. And uh, the county government is mandated to deal with the county roads. Now there's been a challenge on determining which is a county road and which is a national government road. But so far as we're speaking, I'm, uh, I'm aware that uh, the TA has now formally gazetted uh, the road network that will be maintained by the counties. With the few equipment we have, we're we also trying our best to make sure that uh, they <coughs> serve the residents and the citizens of uh, this county. Governor Kinudia Mbugwa ameelezea kujitolea kwake katika kuboresha barabara kwenye kaunti ndogo ya Kurusoi Kusini kama njia ya kupanua uchumi wa eneo hili lililo na uwezo mkubwa wa uzalishaji. Kabla ya ugatuzi barabara nyingi zilisalia mbovu. Lakini leo barabara hizi zaeleza habari tofauti. Barabara zimekarabatiwa huku eneo la Kuresoi Kusini likifungua njia kwa wakulima wanaofanya kilimo biashara. Maono ya gavana Kinudia Mbugwa yanalenga kaunti inayojiendeleza inayowafaa watu wake na kuhakikisha ukuaji. Ili kuafikia lengo hili, serikali ya kaunti ya Nakuru imewekeza katika miradi ya kilimo, imeungana na washikadau walio na nia sawia katika miradi muhimu katika sekta ya kilimo ili kuzibadili kuwa biashara itakayoimarisha maisha. We have started taking the statistics of the vulnerable women and uh, they're going to be given 90% of the farm input the first year, that is 2016 this year. Then the next year they'll get, uh, they'll give them 50% of the farm inputs, the third year 10% farm input. We are teaching the farmers, training the farmers to look at the market and plant the crops that have the market. Not to plant the markets to sell, but to have the market first and then grow the crops that will fight the market. Chemi chemi za maji ziko kwa wingi kwenye sehemu hii ya kaunti ya Nakuru. Uanzishaji wa miradi ya kilimo inayoweza kuwafaidi wakazi wa eneo la Kuresoi Kusini umekuwa jukumu kuu la serikali ya kaunti chini ya gavana Kinudia Mbugwa hasa inapojibidisha kufufua sekta hii. Pareto ni kilimo kilicho na manufaa tele. Kilimo hiki kina uwezo wa kutoa zaidi ya fursa milioni mbili za kazi. Serikali ya kaunti ya Nakuru imetoa mbegu za pareto bila malipo kwa wakulima katika maeneo inapokuzwa pareto kwa wingi ili kuinua kilimo cha pareto. Serikali ya kaunti ya Nakuru vile vile imesisitiza bei nzuri kwa mazao ya pareto yanayowasilishwa na wakulima katika mamlaka pareto nchini. Hatua hii inalenga kuwavutia wakulima ambao walikuwa wameacha kilimo cha pareto kurejea shambani na kuendelea na kilimo hiki kwa manufaa ya maendeleo yao. This is the county that it has got its backbone in agriculture. Agriculture is very very important to this county. Agriculture is widely practiced in Akuru county. So that's why I'm telling you how wide Nakuru is, and Nakuru is actually uh, an agricultural zone. It has all those climatic conditions, and uh, it has nearly every crop that you can think of in this country. So we have got food crop that is for subsistence, and then at the same time we have got the one for export. Na labda tu ninge kuzia kuhusu hizo feeder rods ikitengenezwa vizuri 
juu katika kaunti ya Nakuru unaona ya kwamba chenye naletea mkulima mapato ni zao la chai ambapo ikiwa mkulima atasaidiwa kwa mabarabara mazuri hizo mavuno yao itafika katika kiwanda kwa wakati unaofaa bila kuwa na tasisi ama tatizo lolote county government imekuja tu hivi majuzi lakini yale wamefanya kuna manufaa lakini kuna saidi mengi wanaweza wakafanya kwa mfano barabara unasipata kwamba labda imewekwa tu kilomita fulani na ingekuwa vizuri kama wangekamilisha muradi moja ikamilike kwa wakati moja Dr. Stanley Chepkoni Vilevi anapigia upatu kilimo cha ngombe wa maziwa kama kinua uchumi kwenye kaunti ya Nakuru. Ametaja kilimo cha ngombe wa maziwa kama kilimo kilicho na uwezo mkubwa wa kuchangia uchumi wa kaunti hii ikizingatiwa uzalishaji mkubwa unaoshuhudiwa hasa maeneo ya mashinani. During the dry seasons, the milk comes to a price of 40 shillings per liter. And you see, the selling price from the processors does not change. It's an average of 100 shillings per liter. So this challenge we have seen as Nakuru people, if the farmers formed cooperative societies, they would have a say. The farm cooperative societies, they become processors, they would have a say of the price of the of the raw product that is raw milk so you say you see we say unity is strength so that is why we are we want to work with the cooperative societies governor wa county ya nakuru kinuthia mbugwa anapania kuinua hali ya afya katika county nzima ya nakuru hasa katika maeneo ya mashinani hii leo hospitali zimekarabatiwa katika county ndogo ya kuresoi Hakikisho kuwa wanawake wajawazito zaidi watajifungua katika hospitali hivyo kupunguza vifo vya watoto vinavyotokana na kina mama wajawazito kujifungulia nyumbani pasipo na huduma nzuri za matibabu sectors tangu tuchukue ofisi ni, ni zaidi ya 30 mpya health center ama health facility ambao bil, kabla devolution haikukua hapo mfaulu kujenga zaidi ya 30. Olengurweni huko ndani kabisa. Hospitali sasa imekuwa upgraded. Ili ya sasa wananchi wa huko Olengurweni, Kirengeti hawahitaji sasa kuja Moro ama Nakuru. Inafanyiwa hapo. Kasi ya hospitali ni ofisi ya governor sasa nanunua dawa. We want to make sure that hakuna wakati yoyote hospitali yetu inakabila dawa wakati wowote utapata ya kwamba iko dawa katika hospitali zetu jambo ambalo ni nzuri kwa vile hapo mbele nilikuwa shida mwananchi akienda hospitali anapewa prescription na kanunue wengi hawangeweza kununua matanet tumefungua wings za matanet kali, kalibu hospitali zetu zote First of all as a department the biggest success that we have had in the last three years is to ensure that we improve our health indicators positively A good example is uh, skilled maternity deliveries these, these are deliveries that are conducted by skilled health workers they have improved uh, from 46% to about uh, 65% if you look at our immunization coverage, it has increased from 87% to over 92%. We always say prevention is better than cure. We have really invested in expanding the lower health facilities, dispensaries and health centers, equipping them, making sure that they, are, they have proper and well-trained personnel. Literally all our health indicators have gone positively. 
And as a result of this, we have a more healthier society. Nafrahi kwa vile katika uh, kaute hii yetu maneno ya ward ya ECD imevuma sana Tumejenga zaidi ya ECDs 2000 na 50 2014 and 15 um, we were able to construct 149 ECD classrooms. We were able to build um, four social halls and we also were able to build about seven polytechnics. 15 and 16, we were able again to build another 123 ECDs, another five social halls and 28 polytechnics. Issue Libuanza in the society across a papu ski Naniki Malis and the Tentacu are cheating me when you're in your barn. I love me in Amambia County at the Chenge workshop, Atuna workshop. Mina saw me a fashion design and Puanza Kucha Pashula, little bad liquor son. Tulipoana tu mas tiangewa atarasa zingine tu kashukuru kwa sababu tulikuwa tukifanyana huko tulikuwa tumemwambia mwalimu tusiengewe darasa zingine alafu mwalimu akasema kaunti atatengenezea na tulitengenezea watu kashukuru nitakapo mahali saba taenda kuchisimamia mimi peke yangu Kaunti imetusaidia eh wametusaidia hata kututengea new classes wametuletea tools ya kutumia kwa air salon vilao walikuja kutu, kutuanzisha hii goals tukafurahia na tukatoka kwa manyumba zetu tulikuwa tu tukikaa tu kwa nyumbani na kasi kasi tu ya nyumbani yenye hata tu kwa tukipata kitu tulikuwa tukikaa tu kwa manyumba zetu na hiyo kibarua kibarua tu hiyo kidogo kidogo My name is Boria Ruben. I am the instructor ICT and deputy principal JEPTUH YP. Uh, here we are training uh, the youth on several courses and skills like the carpentry, air dressing, PD therapy, uh, mechanics and electrical wireman. So why we are training this youth is that so that they can get the skills to improve their lives and then uh, they will go out there, improve the lives of their families and the community, and also improve the economy of this country. The county is uh, up to the task of bringing up the the, the, the life and the I mean the social life and the economy of the youth by training them and also offering the facilities required for training of this youth. In this year alone, we are also going ahead to increase in terms of infrastructure to build another 160 uh, ECD classrooms. So you can see the level that we have uh, really, the effort that we are giving to the, that particular infrastructure. And uh, mostly today if you go, the die has changed. You will look around and see the most smartest um, classrooms and you find that those are the ECD classrooms. Jina langu ni po langa. I project metu zaidi. I metu zaidi amta. Baka stay tu kunda. Samano atoto alikuwa na fu kama aji alikuwa na msumbwa na wasumbwa alikuwa na leta shida. Sasa ina zaidi amewa tu zaidi wa atoto ing. 
Hasa tunashukuru kama na hata ingawa hii imekuwa kweli lakini hakuna cho ichachimbwa. Tungataka atusaidie atuangalie cho na mnajua hii shamba tulinunua. Si haikuwa imetolewa. Ikiwezana na tupatie nini tuongeze atuongeze shamba ili wafaidi wa wenyeji wa hapa na wanafunzi wa hapa. Unajua kutoka hapa kwenda kutafuta na za ni kama 2 km. Mahali tulikuwa tunaenda. Sasa hapa imetusaidia na watoto wale wanatumia hii ni zaidi hata ya 300. Wale wamekuwa karibu. Tunashukuru kwa hii inaonekana imekuwa maendeleo imekuja nyumbani. Vile tunafanya kazi na governor uhusiano yangu na governor ni 100% uh, good. Tunafanya kazi vizuri tunaulisiana maneno hii ni kusema consultation kwa njia yote ikiwa ni development ikiwa ni kupeana kazi ukiwa ni investment tu tunachadiliana vile unachua nakuru ni kaunti ya kabila zote Kenya na kwa hivyo lasima rasilmali tumekawanya sawa sawa upande ya kuresoi that is nakuru west unaona ya kwamba wanataka barabara so ni wanaiji ya area hiyo wanasema tunataka barabara ndio ukitembea kutoka maima hiyo ukienda mpaka kuresoi unaona mahali ngine iko taa mahali ngine ni kiza kwa sababu priority yao ni barabara kila ward inapata 25 million for development na kila MCA anarudi kwake anaita wananchi wanaongea kulingana na vile wananchi wanataka when our time comes you will be there for us too kitu kingine tumejaribu kufanya ni bazari our operating base ni what so kwa basari tunapatia every mca 2 million that means every year we are spending 110 million to be followed by kamara to be followed mshimo kita Mheshimiwa George kutoka London. London. Oh now, we can imagine how much our teacher knows. Kenodi Abogwa. Naomba hii tuweke mikono yetu pamoja, tushangilie wakati huu. Mheshimiwa. In the remaining uh, two years kwa vile tuko na budget zingine mbili tuna budget bili kabla huu msimu wa miaka tano ishe tunataka sasa tujaribu consolidate zile gains ambazo tumefanya katika miaka hizo zingine tatu tuhakikishe kwamba service delivery tumeisawawisha ile mahali ambapo labda priority zao hazikuwa zimefikiwa tuhakikishe sasa iko Mimi naitwa Basta Eric, mimi ni mmoja wa waendeshaji wa boda boda wa Longruone. Hii project yenye tumechengewa na kaunti ya Nakuru ni msuri lakini bado haichakamilika. Na aina security light, aina fiti na tungependa kama ingetungechengewa kuwa kubwa ili tuwe tufurahie hata wa customers wanabongochea uh, kusafirishwa mali wenye wanaenda ya wanyeshewi na tena wakati wajua wapate nafasi mzuri hii project inatusaidia tuchikinge wakati wajua na tena wakati wa mfua tunapenda tuna hii project lakini bado ndi kidogo pigipigi nyesi naingia ndani ni wachache na ni wengi bado haisi ingia ndani ni bado wako, wako nje na sasa tungependa ikuwe kubwa ili angalau boda boda nyingi asiingie ndani
kwa upande yangu kama gavana wa Nakuru ninafurahia sana wananchi wa Nakuru. Wamekuwa very supportive, wamekuwa very patient na wametua ile kazi walitupatia waja subua sisi. Wametupatia muda tufanya hiyo kazi walitupatia. Ni kwa sababu tuta